mole, mole, artichoke. Who dead? Who dead? I G G Y. Who dead? Who dead? I really want to go to Disneyland right now. Hey everyone, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my spring empties for you guys or aka products that I've used up and I love doing these types of videos because I think it's a great way for you guys to really get a true honest review of the products that I've used up um, because I've used up the whole thing. I only do these videos four times a year, one for spring, summer, fall, and winter. So let me know if you guys enjoy these empties videos. But if you don't like these videos, let me know in the comments what videos you'd like to see instead of an empties video. So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about my hair. So I just grew long hair overnight, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm actually wearing extensions from irresistibleme.com and I have not gone to a salon yet to have them blended to match my hair. So that's why I just did the braid. So I don't know, I feel like Pocahontas and I super, super love it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the extensions. This brings me back to like way back when, when I had a bob um, a few years ago and I would wear extensions almost every single day and I would wear a smoky eye every single day. Um, yeah, a lot has changed, but I'm back to the extensions and they're just so much fun. So yeah. Also, my headband is from thatmadonnagirl.com and my shirt says geek on it and it's from Romwe. So I think that's everything I need to say. So now let's begin with the empties. I have a ton of these facial cleansing wipes that I just go through like candy. Um, I love using facial wipes to remove my makeup. So let's just start with this one. This is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian 3-in-1 Cleansing Towelettes. And I got these for my trip to Cancun that I went to back in February. I just needed to pick up some cleansing wipes for my trip, so I decided to try these ones out and the smell is so amazing. I can still kind of smell it, but these smell so good, but unfortunately they do not remove makeup well at all, so I do not recommend these, but it does smell really good, so I was really bummed about these. I really wanted to like these, but they do not remove makeup well at all. Next, I have the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Exfoliating Facial Wipes. And I've tried the non-exfoliating facial wipes before and I really like them, but these exfoliating ones in particular were just a little too rough. And it says it's for sensitive skin, which I don't think I really even have sensitive skin, but these were just really, really rough. My last two are from Clean and Clear, and these are actually my two favorite. This one more than this one, so let's start with this. This is the Clean and Clear Makeup Dissolving Facial Cleansing Wipes. I like these because they are super moisturizing and uh, very saturated, so they're not dry at all. So when you wipe off your makeup, it's just feels like butter. But these ones are my favorite. I love it so much. This is the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipe. And these take off my makeup so, so effortlessly. And I am just super impressed. These kind of smell, kind of smell a little like lavender, just a little, not a lot. And I just like how hydrating my skin feels. And I definitely love using these on like my lazy days. So like, Say it's the end of the night, I really don't feel like washing my face, taking off my makeup, doing my whole skincare routine at night. So I'll just take one of these, wipe down my face to just get off the makeup, and I can go to sleep right after that because these leave my skin feeling hydrated and nourished and I don't know, I just love these on my lazy days. This is kind of boring, but I finished up a Crest 3D White Toothpaste. I feel like it really does help keep my teeth white. It doesn't necessarily like whiten them to make them brighter, but it just helps keep them white because I do tend to whiten my teeth. So I love this toothpaste. Of course, this wouldn't be a Jack Jack Empties video without tone body washes. You guys know this is my obsession. This is like the only body wash that I continuously buy. So actually, I think I think both of these might have been gift gifted to me, but I I can't remember. This is the Tone Limited Edition Sweet Renewal Vanilla Bean and Almond Milk Body Wash. Oh my gosh, that smells so so good. And then I also finished the Tone Ocean Therapy Deep Sea Extract and Pearl Essence Body Wash. And I've actually gone through like two or three bottles of this already, like this scent. So I've used this a ton. I love the Ocean Therapy, it smells 
Smells like the beach. It just smells so, so good. Finished up the Herbal Essence Color Me Happy Conditioner. I don't know about you guys, but I usually tend to finish the conditioner before I finish the shampoo. So I have the shampoo of this, but I still have like this much left of the shampoo. But I just love Herbal Essence. It's one of my favorite brands for hair care products because they just smell so, so amazing and they really just get the job done. They hydrate my hair, clean my hair, and just leave my hair smelling so, so good. And the Color Me Happy, I picked this one up because um, I had colored hair. Well, I still have colored hair technically because I dyed my hair black. But um, before when I have like my highlights and all that kind of stuff, I was using this and Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love Herbal Essence. They have the best smelling hair care products ever. Another hair care product that I finished up is my favorite mask, which is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. And this actually lasted me a long time. Wow, this is super clean. I totally cleaned this out, but you can still kind of smell. Oh, this smells really good too. But I just love this because I have um, I have drier hair. I have like a dry scalp, so I will put this through my hair, massage it in, leave it on for about five to seven minutes while I'm in the shower, and my hair just feels so smooth and silky and hydrated. And so if you have dry hair, I definitely recommend you give this one a try. And one cool thing is that this is a cruelty-free, I said cruelty, why can't I say that? Cruelty. Um, cru <laughs> they do not test on animals, which is a plus. Another Herbal Essence product that I finished up was the new Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. I really like the way this smells because it smells very fresh and minty and I just really like this. This is actually the first dry shampoo I've ever tried. I'm still new to the whole dry shampoo world. So if you guys have a recommendation, let me know in the comments. But one thing I have to say is that this ran out pretty quickly. I feel like I was done with it in about two weeks and maybe two and a half weeks. And yeah, it was done and like nothing else comes out anymore. So that was the only bad thing. This runs out pretty quickly. So I'm not completely done with this, but I am almost done. I just have this much left. But this is the Bath & Body Works Mad About You Body Lotion. And I actually got this as a gift from my boyfriend's mom. And this just smells so good. It just smells like spring. It's very floral, florally without being like old lady florally, if that makes sense. I also finished up an eye cream, and this is the L'Occitane Eye Cream from their Divine Collection. And I've had this for the longest time. I want to say over a year. It's lasted me over a year. And this is just so nice for the under eye area, especially if you're like me and you worry about the fine lines. And because I smile so much, it kind of like... I think I'm gonna get it a lot sooner than normal people because I'm always smiling. I just, I really like the way it makes my under eyes feel because sometimes they get really dry which also goes in with wrinkles and fine lines. When your skin is dry, you're more prone to wrinkles. So I really like this because it just keeps my under eye hydrated. And my last empties product is a perfume and I actually still have a little tiny bit more um, that I'm gonna finish up but I figured I would go ahead and share it with you guys. This is from American American Eagle and it's called Bohemian and this fragrance it just smells so so good I'm terrible at it describing scents but oh my gosh let me spray this oh it just smells so good it smells like it's sweet but not sugary sweet it's like a sweet beach you gotta go into an American Eagle and just spray this and smell it and test it out because I think it smells amazing and I definitely want to repurchase this guy because it's just so, so good. So those are all the products that I used up during the spring season. So once summer is over, because summer is like just now beginning, once summer is over, I will be sharing with you. Blah, 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 blah. So once summer is over, I will be sharing the products that I used up during summer at the end of summer, if that makes sense. So that's basically it. Now it's time for the moment you guys have all been waiting for. The winner of the $100 gift card giveaway that I had. So I was posting a video every single day last week for the start of the World Cup. Any soccer fans? Woo -hoo, Spain. Okay, let's actually not talk about Spain because they just got destroyed by the Netherlands and it broke my heart. So 
Let's not even go there. But I posted a makeup tutorial every day of the week and there was a secret code word in each video and you had to comment on each video and it just took me a while to pick a winner because I actually had to go through each video and look for the winner's comment to make sure that they commented. So yeah, without further ado, here is the giveaway winner. So congratulations, I will be sending you a message on YouTube, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to come back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a new video. And thumbs up this video if you like empty videos. And subscribe if you're not already. And just say hello in the comments. If you don't know what to comment, just say hello. I would love to hear from you. So I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, have a magical day. We're gonna do what you're doing, what you're doing